At this point, we know how to both read points from a graph and plot our own points on a graph. And this provides us with the tools we need to look for patterns in the world around us. We can use these patterns to identify trends and even make predictions about what will happen in the future or in other situations. Robert Hooke was an English scientist who noticed that in a typical range, how much a solid object stretched or bent depended on the amount of force applied. Now that's pretty straightforward, but Hooke wanted to understand it more completely. So, for a variety of objects, Hooke plotted the force applied as compared to the amount of stretch or bending, and his data probably looks something like this. By looking at the data, we can see that there is definitely a linear trend in this data. The data follows along the general shape of a straight line. For different size springs, the amount of force varies, but the general linear trend was there. Fellow scientists tested this themselves and realized that Hooke is right. They found that there was a point where the spring got stretched too much and the linear property started to break down, but in their normal usable range, this relationship proved very useful for making predictions. Hooke's law is now famous among scientists and technologists who work with any form of spring, in cars, trucks, planes, trains, and even used recently in cancer detection. A recent example of someone seeing a trend in data could be Charles Keeling, who collected piles of carbon dioxide data from Mauna Loa in Hawaii. Looking through this huge amount of data was far too challenging to appreciate the trends, but when he plotted the data, it looked like this, and he could see there is definitely a trend. Not a linear trend, but we could draw a curve to represent this data. Keeling's data and graphs were very important indicators of global warming. Keeling became very famous for his work in collecting this data and recognizing the trends. His work allowed other scientists to look further and discover more about global warming trends that are happening all around us. Data trends can come in all different forms, but at this point, let's divide them into two categories, linear or nonlinear. Linear relationships have trends that are best described by a straight line. Nonlinear relationships have trends that are best described by a nonlinear curve of some kind. Note that whatever line or curve we use to represent the data may not pass through all the data points. A best fit line or curve just shows the general shape of the data, allowing us to recognize trends and make predictions.